Hello, hello. Hope you are all doing really, really well. Hope you're having a great week. Hope you're having a great day and are ready today to learn some fantastic music, sing a few songs and have a really, really good time. Hope this lesson can make your day even better than it already is. Today we are going to be looking at instruments of the orchestra and talking about an orchestra and what is an orchestra and the different instruments that we can find in an orchestra. So before we get going, just make sure wherever you are that you are sitting up nice and nice and straight or you're standing up. You can either sit on a chair or a sofa or stand up really, really nice and straight. Okay, so make sure we're standing or sitting really, really nice and straight. I want you to think that you've got a piece of string at the top of your head that is pulling you up to the ceiling so it's not letting you crouch like this but instead it's pulling you nice and nice and high all the way to the top of the ceiling. We're just going to give our bodies a bit of a warm up. So wherever you are, can you give your shoulders a bit of a shrug? Oh that's really nice. Can we give our wrists a little bit of a shrug? A little bit of a twist as well, lovely, okay? And then can we give our heads a nice turn? We don't want to go too quickly, but just nice and nice and slowly. Lovely. So the first thing we're going to look at today in our music lesson is an orchestra. Now an orchestra, for those of you who might not know already, an orchestra is a big group of lots and lots of people playing musical instruments all together. They're working really, really well together. They're coming all together and working really well as a group, as a team. And that is what an orchestra is. In an orchestra, we have lots and lots of instruments and these instruments are grouped into four what we call families, four families. Now the families we will find in an orchestra is the strings family, the woodwind family, the brass family and the percussion family. So we've got lots and lots of instruments within those families but they are grouped into those four separate families. So today we're going to start by looking at one of those families. That family is going to be the brass family. Are we all ready to look at our first instrument in the brass family? So here it is. Well done to those of you who might know already. This instrument is called the French horn. So it's part of the brass family. It's very gold. It's very shiny. It's not actually made of gold, but because it's in the brass family, it is made from a material called brass, which is a type of metal. So if we look really, really closely at our French horn, we're going to start at the top. This piece is called a mouthpiece. That's because we put it in our mouth and we'll come on to a little bit later how we make a sound from our mouthpiece. So I'm going to pop that back on there. So we've got our mouthpiece at the top. We're going to come down to here and here we have three little buttons. Now the proper word for these buttons in music for our French horn is called the valves. So we put our three fingers down onto the valves here and these will help us as well make our sound on the French horn. So next we're going to come to all of these little bits here. You'll see that there are lots and lots of them. Now these are called tubes as well. So we've got our mouthpiece, we've got our three valves and then we have got our tubes. So the way in which we can make a sound on the French horn is by something called buzzing. It's buzzing like you're buzzing like a bee. And we buzz into this piece. Can you remember what this is called? The mouthpiece, brilliant. So what we have to do is we have to make a buzzing sound into our mouthpiece. Now we're gonna have a go all together at trying to make a little buzzing sound. So the first thing I'd like you to do is put your two fingers like that next to your lips, okay? 
and we have to keep our lips really, really flat and it sounds a bit like this. Okay, think you can have a go? We're gonna do it together. So we're gonna have a go at doing a buzz. We're gonna put our two fingers on our lips like that, keeping your lips here really, really flat. We're gonna take a big breath in and we're gonna do a really, really long buzzy sound. <gasps> Lovely. If we put that exact buzzy sound into our mouthpiece, it sounds a little bit like this. And the final step is that we have to put this mouthpiece back now in to our instrument, our French horn. So once the mouthpiece is in, we've got our three fingers on our vowel and we put our other hand in this part of the French horn which is called the bell and this is where the sound comes out of. So we've got our mouthpiece, we've got our fingers on our vowels and our other hand in the bell and it makes a sound a little bit like this. <laughs> So it sounds very grand, it sounds very, very royal. If you watch on the television, sometimes you might see a French horn playing on the television too. So now we have all learned a little bit about the French horn, we are going to learn a song. Are you all ready for a little bit of singing? I hope so. This is called The French Horn Song. to copy back sounds like this take a breath hold lips tight take a breath hold lips tight good we'll do that one one more time take a breath hold lips tight take a breath hold lips tight good really much much better try to blow with all your might Don't worry, we'll do that one one more time. Try to blow with all your might. Try to blow with all your might. There, 
very, very good. Now the final bit, take a breath, hold lips tight. Take a breath, hold lips tight. Try to blow it right. Lovely stuff. So we're going to put that back with the piano now. See if you this time can join in with those words and have a little listen to how the tune goes. But you have done fantastically well today remembering all of those words. Okay, we're going to go all together. Are we ready? We have looked at instruments in the orchestra, we have looked at the brass family and our French horn with our French horn song. I really hope you've enjoyed this lesson. Do join us next week where we'll be looking at another instrument in the brass family. Hope you have a lovely week, hope you have a lovely rest of your day and we will see you next time. Take care, bye!